And now for something uh, a little bit off off the beaten track, um, uh, we're going to be installing a business fax machine, uh, the Panasonic UF5500. Uh, and since it has um, um, a tw uh, call full color twin scanner, uh, and a and a document feeder. It has the ability to do uh, full color scanning uh, and and faxing as well as printing. So um, the the 4500 model uh, d is um, does not have that capability. It's a four megabyte uh, model, but this 5500. Uh, runs for eight eight forty nine, and it, it is equipped with Ethernet networking, um, and the ability p to to uh, scan in color. So this is what we're going to install. So let's let, let's give it let's get going on that. Uh, put away the silly uh, reader. Uh, put the disk in the drive. I should have done that ahead of time. Of course I didn't. Okay, run setup X. Public by Panasonic Systems. Yes. There we go. Oh, by the way, we got new NVIDIA drivers. We'll see what happens with this baby down here. If we have any of those, uh, wild crashes in the middle of the uh, installation or any of those slowdown issues we had before as well um, right now I don't see anything happening so I mean, the drive lights flickering uh, but to keep an eye on the clock in the bottom right hand corner uh, it's uh, at 1.42 p.m. right now. Okay, here we go. It's probably going to be faster because the, I believe this uh, screen recorder slows things down does things to the um, weird things to every now and then so keep let's keep our fingers crossed something just flashed there we go all right so we have uh, two tabs on this install we can change the language if we want we have uh, documentation we can look at uh, read me first oh, operating manuals who reads anything first install software um, so there is a you know USB connection installed for if you have the non-network version of this the uh, UF 4500 so we have this version the uh, network co connection let's see what happens when we do that Zowie okay yeah, this is on custom ins install we have the ability to uh, uh, install or not install all of these things here so um, wow look at all that stuff so I think I'm just gonna leave it for for the installation purposes I have to leave it alone and we'll go all the way with the the full ev install everything Seven. I accept the the terms. I uh, accept the file location. Uh, destination folder looks fine to me. Just gonna try to create one. Uh, it found the the device.
bingo like that right at, at 112. And select the fact device, fax device, I found the same the same same number. Network scanning and other features require the communication to utilities to be loaded. Start with Windows. I'm going to just start them manually. Next. Enable communications. Uh, in order to use any Panasonic software with the Windows Fire firewall enabled, it is necessary to allow network communication through the firewall. So it says enable communications. Recommended. Next. Click install to begin the installation. At 1.48 p.m. And this looks familiar. I had this same. Well, no, it's changing here. This is good to see. Job status utility. Oh baby, looks like something's finally happening here. Looks like preparing to install after, well it's 2.08 p.m. after God knows how long it's preparing to install. Maybe it was such a good message to see after all. But please wait. Don't have much please wait left in me. Oh my goodness. Install shield wizard complete. Yes, I want to restart my computer now. It says 2.09 p.m. there on the uh, on the um, taskbar. I'm going to see UF 5500 reboots. Uh, I see this little 
next Panasonic job status utility here as well as let's see what software I install over here under probably Panasonic Pan, um, Panasonic document management whoa and uh, UF 5500 look at all that stuff okay um, I assume that if there's an issue you're going to um, okay you can see the fax log um, it can display conditions PC fax PC print all error only none uh, you can turn it off in other words um, display completion notice in front so you can fool you can fool around with the uh, the alert settings on this on this status utility, and it let's see where it's 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 put in your startup folder. So in order to get rid of it, you, know, you get deleted from your startup folder. Keep it from starting up every time. But anyway, it, you know it, it may or it's. The, it, Probably pretty useful nonetheless. Double click on it. Let's see what happens. Uh, it shows me a uh, job status utility. There's nothing really going on at this point, so I'll close. Alright, let's start looking through this. There's a ton of stuff here. Uh, 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 document management, communications utility. Probably the hardest one right off the bat. It's also taking forever to load. Oh, there's something popped up down there. So, okay. I believe this communication utility. Looks like it, uh, it has something to do with, uh, with scans coming in. Um, scanner con configuration. Uh, launch application when the scan comes in. Where you want to where you want to go into quick image navigator Windows Explorer yada 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 save file as could be saved as a PDF could be selected at the scanner uh, scanner reception notice at the work workstation mm -hmm. Few few here, things here for the scanner configuration. I imagine th this has to be started for for the for the scanning feature. So let's see what else we have here. Device Explorer. We've seen this before. It brings up certain network printers. If you had a couple of Panasonics on here, it would bring you up a list of them, show you uh, quickly you know, what's up with them, power save mode. Obviously, this office jet is some kind of a warning, uh, but it um, looks like everything is okay. Now if I double click on this, 
Not much is going on. Oh, something's happening. Okay, so the device device monitor opens. Uh, tells me that to uh, toner is available. Uh, it has unknown quantity of paper. Some information about the device. Information about the network. Okay, I'm double click on the Office Jet Pro. It'll give me some basic information uh, on that as well. So um, that's the uh, Device Explorer. So if you had a bunch of uh, of Panasonic, you look at all all of them at one time there. Uh, fax driver setting, uh, this shouldn't be too dramatic. Uh, this this allows you to send faxes from the PC through the uh, fax built into the UF 5500. So you can set, sit at your desktop and set, send faxes um, from, uh, from your desktop using a PC fax print driver. And here's some of the settings, uh, ID codes, it's, you know, a whole bunch of stuff here, it's phone book, import, export, add, uh, all kinds of stuff for the Panasonic fax driver, It's the fax driver itself, if you want to send something. Uh, do you wish to set it up now? No, leave it, leave it alone. Uh, let's do that again. That was that was didn't do anybody any good at all. Panasonic. Let's set that up. Uh, do you wish to set it up now? Yes. Uh, no, we can look at cover sheet. I can look at <laughs> two cover sheets. Settings, uh, the fax number, just stuff you can add to the people you can add to the to the fax driver. Let's uh, important notice, job status, utility, network scanner configured quicker. I'm gonna forget this important notice concerning security. Uh, job st status utility is down here. We were looking at that before. Um, mm, network scanner configuration. Uh, we were looking at this before as well. This list tells you what application to launch, what, what you want to kind of file you want to save it as, how you want to, want to be notified when the file is received, different types of information. So that a little few minutes before earlier. Um, let's quick image navigator. This is the um, document management program that comes standard with the with the system. Uh, when you set up your scanning software, you can use it as the the default uh, image management uh, software. Um, allows you quick image navigator allows you to. Uh, go through your folders. It shows you thumbnails of the file types. You can um, preview. You can print them. You can you can you can fax. You can you can fax them. You can email them. You can 
um, acquire more images from the scanner, uh, rotate pages, uh, edit pages, edit, edit selection of pages, or a lot of a lot of lot of things you can do here. It's correct skew, eliminate noise. Um, this is a nice little tool. Let's see what else there is. Uh, read me first, uninstall. And I'll take a quick look at the print driver. Uh, read me first. We're gonna read me first. Look at the print driver. Okay, let's see what it looks like here. Uh, printing preferences. This is what your print driver looks like from, from the application. It's pretty simple. You have these um, quick layout buttons on the bottom down here. Uh, printer status should bring up the device monitor, which is nice. That nice and quick as well. Uh, basic pa paper settings. Output. Basic output, because there really isn't much going on. Quality. Uh, not a lot going on here either. Effects. Not much going on. You do have watermark on overlay. Still not much going on. Profiles. Uh, I'm not even sure what profiles are all about. Uh, profile registering current settings. Okay, so profile is a collection of print settings. So you could you could save uh, any variety of settings and name them and save them and export and import them right here. One to say. Uh, uh, best quality and have the highest quality settings uh, and quickly pull it up from here support support is not much this is the driver download page that's not going to do you know, I, don't, I don't need to go and look at that so that that's what the print driver looks like itself and printing administrative administrative tools uh standard here pretty standard here pretty standard here it's using this a stamp plain old run of mill tcp ip port under advanced nothing fancy there color management any of the security nothing fancy there Support same as before, and not much. So that's what the, that's what the print driver looks like. So basically, that's it. Uh, pretty easy. Um, I'm sure I'm not real clear what the role of this this scanner navigator has, to, but I'm sure that this has to be on if you want to do any kind of uh, scan to PC. So, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay.